Hey guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to give you some tips on how to succeed in musical theater. So first off, it takes really hard work and training and dedication to be in musical theater. It's not easy. You gotta really work hard at it. So whether that means you're getting a degree in musical theater or you're just taking private lessons in singing, dancing, acting, you gotta work your butt off. So that's the first thing. Um, you gotta know your type. Like, you have to be real with yourself of who you are and what you are best at in like a character role. So whether you think you're sort of leading lady or leading man type, or you just know you have a really funny personality and sidekick roles kind of suit you best, or whether you're still that really young, innocent ingenue that you can play. I mean, just sort of know your type best. Know your vocal type. Are you a tenor, a baritone, a mezzo, a soprano? Like, just know yourself and what you could play best. That's not to say that you should just like fixate and say, well, this is the only thing I'm ever meant to do because it can fluctuate and you can grow as a performer and you can, you know, be diverse. And certainly theater is opening up much more and more to like diversity in casting. Um, take for instance, Chicago on Broadway just cast a drag queen, Jinx Monsoon as Mama Morton. Wow. Um, so, Yes, and I've seen more and more casting of people of color that were traditionally like, I guess, white roles, you know, in the original like Broadway cast or, um, so I mean, things are definitely getting more and more diverse in theater, which is great. So like I say, you're not locked into something, but you do have to know like your own strengths and weaknesses and um, your vocal type and that kind of thing. Cause some roles, just are sort of locked into a certain look or a certain type. And so you have to know what's best for you, if that makes sense. All right, you have to, if you're gonna have an audition the next day, be really prepared the night before. Like, know your music, um, have your dance bag or your audition bag ready and set to go. Don't be frantic the next morning trying to pull everything together. Just be prepared and have everything ready the night before. That way you are not frantic and you won't be late. Do not be late to your audition. Um, warm up that morning of the audition, warm up vocally and physically. I mean, at least a little something before you go. Do some scales do some, you know, physical warm up. I mean, you'll probably warm up more once you get there, but at least get your body going before you get there. Pick a song. I always say pick a song that's close to the genre and the character of the show, but also pick a song that means something to you. Like that's meaningful to you because if your true personality is going to come out and you just love the song, then the director and the casting director and anybody else who's on the panel will see that. They'll see that, you know, your true personality, you can really sell it. That's going to look so much better. So pick something meaningful to you. A live accompaniment is always better. So if you take sheet music and there's a live accompanist there, that's always preferred. I think it looks better. Um, take care of yourself. Your health is really important. I mean, theater is no joke. It takes a lot of stamina to sing and dance for two hours and change costumes and run around backstage. So you've got to keep yourself healthy. You've got to keep your voice healthy, your body in shape. Um, and you don't want to be missing out on classes and auditions and rehearsals. So just keep your health um, up. Dress appropriately. I have videos on a lot of this stuff, um, you know, like specifically and in detail, but there's a way to dress for vocal and dance auditions. Um, have fun. Musical theater is fun. This is all meant to be fun. Nothing is meant to be, you know, stressful. Um, there's also a way to keep your nerves in check. Like don't let your nerves get the best of you that day. Um, if, you, if you're one of those that tend to be super anxious and nervous the day of your audition, try to redirect that into positive energy, like more adrenaline um, and not 
be so stressed out that it, it gets the best of you that day. And then always after an audition, assess how it went. Assess your strengths and your weaknesses because if you always book a gig, then you're doing something right. If you never book the job, then you probably need to change something, whether it's your song or how you dress or maybe your general demeanor when you went in there, but there's something maybe you're not on the right track with and you need to change. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.